So in this series of videos, I want to look at what it takes to create a set of bootable DOS 6.22 floppy disks, uh, a 1.44 megabyte, 3.5 inch floppies. Uh, you can do this on a Windows 10 PC. That's how I'm doing it here. And in this video, we'll kind of talk you through the pieces you need. And when we're done with this series, we'll have uh, formatted a, a compact flash drive and a uh, 8046 based machine. And we'll have it booting a DOS 6.22. So the first thing you need is a three and a half inch floppy drive that'll work on a Win 10 machine. And if you search Amazon or eBay or other places for three and a half inch disk drive USB externally, you'll find a drive like this. It's got a USB cable. It's just a little three and a half inch floppy drive. These are only good for 1.44 megabyte floppies. You cannot image 720k floppies in this. But you'll need one of these. Uh, you know, you know, most people running a Win 10 machine don't have a built-in three and a half inch floppy. Uh, you might on your machine, and if you do, it should work fine. For those of us who don't, we need an external floppy, uh, such as this. And then you need media. So I just searched for 1.44 HD disk on uh, Amazon again. You can find these on eBay. I've got a stack of used ones here as well. Uh, you, know, you know, they're generally available if you dig a little bit. Uh, this is a box of 10, and notice that they're two HDs, so they're double-sided, high density. It also says high density here. You don't want uh, uh, regular density dish. You want the ones that are HD, 1.44 meg, for this to work. Uh, so, you, you know, once you get your, your uh, USB floppy drive and your media in hand, the next thing you're going to need is to find uh, DOS floppy images. And kind of the best place I found for these, there's a number of places on the web, is OneWorldPC.com, Product MS DOS. Uh, I, th so this URL will be in the uh, notes, uh, you know, the video description for this video. Anyhow, this presents a really nice menu here of various versions of DOS. And I'm going to drill into 622. Uh, oh, there it is. So th there's some notes here, but if you scroll down the page, you will find the bootable images. And again, we want 6.2.2. I want, in this case, English. Install. Uh, I know I found it here a little earlier. MS-DOS 6.2.2 plus enhanced tools, 3.5 inch, 1.44 meg. So I downloaded this zip file. Uh, we can't do five and a quarter inch 1.2 megabyte floppies on a Win 10 machine, sadly. Uh, and then I downloaded the supplemental disk that goes with it as well. So those, I got those two zips down, uh, unzipped them, and inside of those are image files. So the next thing you're going to need after you have these files downloaded to your machine is a way of, uh, of writing a floppy disk image file to a floppy disk. And Power ISO will do this for you. There's a couple other uh, things you can use. There's WinImage. There's Power ISO. Both of them uh, have a, a unregistered mode. Uh, you could use really either one. I've had better luck with Power ISO. Uh, WinImage for me at the moment on my machine is not working correctly with the external floppy drive, but I've had it work before. So I guess I'm going to say here, go with Power ISO. Power ISO will let you open up those image files you downloaded, point it at the A drive, and write those images to it. Uh, so really, let's recap here. Uh, just quick, while we're here, let me uh, bring back the photos. You're going to need an external 3.5 inch hard drive, uh, USB most likely. Uh, you know, this was required for my Win 10 machine. You're going to need some media, so 3.5 inch floppies. Hopefully you know what they look like. Uh, you know, going to need media. You're going to need some kind of ISO burner. Uh, we'll, we'll pick up and demonstrate the ISO burner in the next video in this series. But for now, let's say you've got your floppy drive, you've got it connected, and you've got a stack of floppies. So what do you do now? So I highly recommend that you open up a command shell. You've got the, the USB floppy drive installed, put a blank 3.5 inch floppy in it, which I've just done. And from the command shell, simply do a format A colon. 
and that will format the floppy disk in there. I recommend you do this because the image file is an image of all the sectors on the floppy. And you don't want a bad sector someplace on the floppy uh, that it can't write that particular block to or that sector to. That'll, that, that'll create problems. So I pre-format the floppies to make sure they're good. In this latest box I formatted, all of these are used. I had two bad ones. That's not uncommon. I've had bad ones occasionally and even a new box. This media is 40 years old, so there's going to be a, a bad disk here and there. But let's go ahead and run a format on A. I heard the drive spin up and uh, you know pull ahead's back to track zero. It's verified the disk is a 1.44 meg formatted disk uh, with the FAT file system. And what it's going to do here now is it's going to walk through the disk, uh, read every sector on it. I believe that's the mode, the verify mode. It'll read every sector. If it needs to, it'll reformat the track. And just verify we have a good working 1.44 meg floppy. As you can see, this takes a bit of time. You need to be patient. See, I worked through a box of 10 earlier, and I don't know how long it took, and there was two bad ones. Uh, another thing to comment on here is occasionally format will fail. Uh, I'd recommend it'll fail. You'll get back to the command prompt in the command window, and you'll try to run format again. It'll say, basically, another process has a hold of the floppy drive. Do you want to kill that process? I recommend closing the command window, opening up a fresh one, and trying the format again. That will clear that file lock uh, on the floppy drive. Uh, if you get format hanging up, which I've seen happen as well, uh, or appear to happen, take a look at the, the LED on the floppy drive. And if the LED is still green, format's still running, it may be trying to reformat a track over and over and over. Uh, if the floppy light is out and it appears frozen, close the command window, open up a fresh one. So, by no means is this perfect. So, we're getting close. It's going to ask us for a volume label. I, we don't need to enter anything here. The disk image we write will have the volume label in that image, so the disk will get you know the volume labeled correctly. I'm going to hit enter for none. And this comes back and tells us it was 1.4 megabyte total to space and 1.4 megabyte are available. If there was bad sectors on the disk, the available might be less than 1.4. Actually, it would be less than 1.4. Those are the floppies you're looking for because we don't want to use those. So kind of keep an eye on this. It'll actually tell us, I believe, someplace here that you know that there was this amount of disk that you know was marked unusable. So this is a good disk. This is a, a, a good target for writing an image to. I'm going to put in one of the disks that failed earlier just so you can see a disk failure. And we'll go ahead and say format another here. Oops. It's in the drive and it'll most likely fail again. Uh, we'll see. So it's reading and reading the disk. Again, this isn't acting correctly. I cannot hear the disk head stepping and there it is. Invalid media or track zero bad, disk unusable. So this tried to format that disk, that track zero, several times on the disk and just failed. Uh, the disk isn't right protected, so it's just a bad disk. I've got a second one here, and let's look at how it acts. Notice we got dropped all the way back to the command prompt, so I'm going to run format A again. The disk is in the drive. We'll see where this one gets to. This, yeah, this one actually starts to format, and I think it's all the way to the completion and then fails. So uh, I'll fast forward here, and we'll come back when this is done. Okay, so we're back. This is about ready to finish up here. percent complete. It's trying to initialize the fat table. I 
So the second time around, this one actually formatted okay. Uh, the first time I formatted this one, it got all the way through the formatting, got to initializing the file allocation table, and failed at that point. Uh, I don't trust this floppy because it had a previous failure. I wouldn't want to write an image on it that I want to keep around uh, for future use. So, you know, it's your call if you try to reformat and it works or not. Uh, you know, this is what it is. Uh, this is the nature of floppies. It'll fail. You know, another format, it'll work. But I don't trust it. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I appreciate your watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I will provide the URLs down in the video uh, description. So you can go download your image and get in and get whatever disk imagery you want. And we'll talk soon. See you in the next video.